walking the walk and talking the talk, or is it just some talking to talk? You guys might be familiar with the Gillette commercial um, about having men be men um, of a certain way that was respecting of women and um, accommodating their interests as well. Does that company um, really encourage those types of behaviors? Do they have a great maternity leave policy? Do they make their women there feel appreciated? Do the men feel appreciated? Um, is what they're saying, what they're doing in such open ways in their commercials or in their policies of other companies, not just Gillette, is that something that is followed through with in their factories, in their behind closed doors kind of situations? Or is it still happening, but on paper, it looks a lot better? Um, other things that I'd love to look into was different organizations like college campuses um, or sports teams. Is there a difference in the expectations of MLB players versus NFL players, um, military branches? Within the last about 10 years, there's been huge initiatives to make sexual, sexual assault response teams within each branch of the military here in the United States. I love to see if they have different ideas of how to go about that or who should they report to, things like that. The last would be, I'd love to look into a, the attraction industry. Is there a difference in what Disney employees expect of their employers, expect of their employees versus Cedar Point or your local state fair? Um, and lastly, I'd love to see the public perception of this. Some people are super passionate about the Me Too movement and high five me when I wear my Me Too t-shirt. And others are like, oh, that's just women nagging on social media. Or that's just men who um, want to seem cool or have a status. I'd love to see what the actual general consensus is of the prevalence of sexual harassment and their opinion of the, the movement and how it impacted things. There's a lot there. I know I talk just as fast as Dr. Victor. Um, I hope you understood at least, at least a little bit and have a better understanding of what you could do even with just 60 policies. I turned 60 policies that talk about maternity leave, that talk about anonymous reporting and talk about a bunch of different things that frankly I never cared about before in such a way into all of this that you see here and that much more that I wrote in an 82 page paper. Um, my email is grogka at tiffin.edu. That's G-R-O-G-G-K-A at tiffin.edu. If you need help with this class or anything in the future, I can't promise I don't know the answers, but I'm more than happy to just kind of hear where you're at and see if I can help in any way. Um, hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for having me.